Hi, I'm Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Center. We're going to talk today about unraveling one of the mysteries of hypothyroidism or something called subclinical hypothyroidism and how it relates to the symptoms that are associated with a thyroid disorder. If you're not fully familiar with the subject of subclinical hypothyroidism, just keep watching. We're going to cover that. So what we're talking about when we refer to that subclinical hypothyroidism are things that interfere with the thyroid's ability to do its work that do not show up on standard medical blood labs or they don't show up in the way those labs are interpreted. So how many of you out there have been to your doctor because you feel that you have full-blown thyroid symptoms and your doctor draws your blood only to tell you that your labs are perfectly normal? Or how many of you are taking thyroid hormone like Synthroid or Levothyroxine or Armour Thyroid or Cytomel and you still don't feel right? Maybe you feel better, uh, but not how you should feel. Or maybe you're still having trouble losing weight. Well, when we see this situation where the symptoms are telling one story, but the lab values don't fall into that clinical range, this could be a sign of subclinical hypothyroidism. So when we see that, that subclinical hypothyroidism, those symptoms, or when hypothyroidism uh, as a diagnosis is being managed with hormones, but it's not resolving the symptoms of the person, we know that there are several things that could interfere with the thyroid's ability to function properly. So one of the things, and the things that we're going to focus on today, and one of the leading causes of subclinical hypothyroidism is adrenal gland fatigue. So the adrenal glands are the two triangular shaped glands that sit on top of your kidneys. And if you've ever experienced stress in your life, and let's face it, if you're alive, you've experienced stress, then you felt the effects of what the adrenal glands do. They put out some very powerful hormones. When we have stress in our lives, the adrenal glands tend to overproduce a hormone called cortisol. You've probably heard of cortisol before. It's known as the belly fat hormone. In addition to causing that dreaded belly fat, one key problem is that cortisol interferes with TSH production. You've heard of TSH, your doctors mentioned it to you, it's thyroid stimulating hormone. This is the hormone that's made in your pituitary gland, gland that sits in your skull, that tells the thyroid to make its hormone. If cortisol is getting produced in too high a quantity, it will block the pituitary gland from communicating effectively with the thyroid gland. Therefore, the thyroid gland can't do its job effectively. One thing cortisol interferes with is the production of T3, which is the active form of your thyroid hormone. It's a gas pedal on your metabolism. TSH is not handled properly. If it's not, then T3 is not produced properly. Again, not directly as a result of a thyroid problem, but rather an adrenal gland problem. When we're looking at thyroid problems, we're often looking at potentially hidden or masked adrenal gland problems. You may be familiar with some of the symptoms of adrenal fatigue, anxiety, depression, not sleeping at night, or maybe you fall asleep okay, but you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep. Or maybe you have sugar and carb cravings or salt cravings. And when you stand up too quickly from a seated or lying down position, you get dizzy and lightheaded for a few moments. Another symptom can be overall pain. Something hurts, maybe your shoulder, your arm, your back. And we know this generally happens, pain generally happens due to inflammation. But because the adrenal glands are the anti-inflammatory glands of the body, and because they're supposed to handle that inflammation, when they're fatigued due, because of too much stress, a person can tend towards fibromyalgia-like symptoms simply because the adrenal glands cannot stop the inflammation. The result is unresolving pain. Also, when cortisol is overproduced by the adrenal glands, the body pulls calciums out of the, uh, calcium out of the bones. This can lead to osteoporosis. The calcium that is pulled out can deposit in the kidneys, causing kidney stones and other complications. So you see, these are just some of the symptoms connected to adrenal insufficiency or adrenal fatigue, which can lead to sub subclinical hypothyroidism. And someone might not know that these are the cause of a potential thyroid problem. So what do you do? Well, one of the things you can do is get your adrenal glands checked. There are a variety of ways to do that, but these are rarely checked in mainstream medicine. The most important thing to do is to get yourself into the hands of a doctor who understands the endocrine system and its relationship to other systems in the body and other symptoms that are going on and a doctor who shares in the goal of actually restoring health, not just managing disease. 
please do me a favor. If you found this video to be educational and helpful, subscribe to my channel below. Just click that subscribe button right down there. Continue to watch for future videos that we put on, and please continue on your road to good health. Again, I'm Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Center, and thank you for watching.